we could use a little spring right now and Sandy Grant will help us get that spring feeling started by showing you how to put together a fresh flower arrangement. Sandy, tell us about your experience yesterday before we begin. You were on a celebrity stage. Yeah, so uh, Dennis Flanagan uh, called me up um, along with Lisa from Canada Blooms and they asked me to appear with four other celebrities on the Unilock Celebrity Stage at Canada Blooms. And you did so I did it amazingly well. Apparently. So you're my new favorite celebrity. I know. I, I, you know what? I made, it, <laughs> I, I made it really challenging. And I picked certain things, like as you can see in the picture, I picked tall, like fuchsia, uh, uh, freesias, and like um, pussy willows. And like nobody else did that. So I really challenged myself. And I really learned a lot. And I'm yeah. really happy that I spent time there. Oh. It's really great. Which and you're going to, to show this. us. Yes, show us how we can put together our own Okay. Our own nice arrangement. So my inspiration was home. I love lemons, and I have lemons on my kitchen countertop all the time, always. And I thought, you know what? I need to have, I love color. I'm going to go. And I saw a lot of these colors yesterday at Cannon Blooms, which means that, you know, I'm, I'm already um, admiring these, and then it kind of influenced me and my decision to make something today for you. So, but I wanted to tell you that if you have trouble when you're trying to keep your stems upright in your vessel or your vase, this is a really simple way to make them stay upright. So you just kind of create a grid really quickly, because I know in this one, my, my arrangements will stay fine. So how did you, how did you know this? So I, I learned it a long while ago, and you can do this with floral tape, or you can just do it with um, your tape at home. And seriously, the only thing you have to worry about is that you don't have wet on the side. So you make a little grid, and it can be as as uh, large holes or as small as necessary. But there you go. That's great. And then I only I have this example. I'm going to use my Gerber's because they're they can become a little bit flimsy as they age in the water. So. Another tip with that too, so you can see that it's really simple. You can fill them up. You can fill um, as many as you need in a hole. You can make it very full or not as full, because sure. then you can add greens later on. But the tip for this um, Gerber is to wire it. So I brought wire to show you, and I did one, I did it before we actually um, before I came on the set. So you just really wrap the wire around like that, so that it stays up when they and start to up. wilt. Yep, just like that. Okay. Easy okay. peasy. Easy. So that's that, that little tip. The second tip, because we're going to be moving on to doing this, is when you're going to be creating your lemon-inspired vase, you don't want to put the lemons free in the water because they're not going to really sit. They're all going right. to float to the top, right? right. Makes sense? So I started them already, so just for time's sake. You're going to not put water in yet. You're going to push all of the lemons down. You can use whatever you want, like a butter knife if you want something that's not as um, sharp, and push it down, yeah. And then you just keep on filling Oops. them around. And inside here, I don't know if you can see, but this is a mason jar. So you have a second vessel. Yeah. This is gonna hold my flowers, which is great. And the, and the best thing about this is that the flower, the water that the flowers are going to be eat, uh, drinking right. is not the lemon water. So it's not going to be acidic, like that. acidic right. of course. So while did you, you take the seeds out when you did the sandy? Because it looks like you had the no, seeds out. No, I didn't. But you know what? You never know. You never know what really you're going to be getting, right? It's so pretty. Yeah. And it so you smells incredible. Put them in there. OK. And then um, this is the bouquet that I worked with. So I chose these colors with this bouquet. Now, I just have a few things to tell you about when you're going to be um, arranging your bouquet. I picked three. So I have the palms. I have the Gerber's. And then I have these spiders. Now, when you want to cut, the, you can see that all the stems are a different length. You're going to cut them flush once you actually put them into your arrangement. But you, in order to get them to sit nicely, you put them in at a 45 degree angle. Oh. So you put one here, you twist. You put your next lot, we'll just use this for example, and twist. And they actually, they actually add color as you go around. And you twist again. And you lay them 45 degrees. That's how you get this type of bottom for them and then when you cut them so you, you ever had you ever see um brides carrying these beautiful bouquets that are yes. just not finished on the bottom and then you can actually i'm gonna let you finish cutting that sandy and pop those right into the vase while i say that that's yeah. the end of today's show thank you to all of our see? guests for stopping by and to you at home for watching i'm denise merrick and we'll see you next time on daytime and finally take a picture of this yes. seriously